Introduction to Engineering Materials According to Webster's Dictionary, materials are defined as substance of which something is comprised or made of. Engineering materials refers to the group of materials that are used in the construction of man-made structures and components. In the Stone Age, the naturally accessible materials were stone, wood, bones etc. Materials play an important role for our existence, for our day-to-day -day needs and even for our survival. The primary function of an engineering material is to withstand applied load without breaking and without exhibiting excessive deflection. The major classification of engineering materials is on the basis of some characteristics. They are 1. According to their general properties 2. According to the nature of materials 3. According to their application According to their general properties, they are divided into two major groups, metals and non-metals. The metals are further divided into ferrous metals and non-ferrous metals. According to nature of materials, they are divided into metals, ceramics, polymers, electronic materials, composites, biomaterials, advanced, smart materials. According to their applications they are grouped as electrical materials, electronic materials, magnetic materials, optical materials, biomaterials. An overview of the major classification of engineering materials. Metals. Metals are the most commonly used class of engineering materials. Metal alloys are especially common and they are formed by combining a metal with one or more metallic and or non-metallic materials. The combination occurs through a process of melting, mixing and cooling. Metals are classified into two, one, ferrous, two, non-ferrous. Ferrous alloys have iron as the base element. Ferrous alloys are the most common metal alloys in use due to the abundance of iron, ease of production and high versatility of the materials. The biggest disadvantages of many ferrous alloys is low corrosion resistance. Carbon is an important alloying element in all ferrous alloys. Examples of ferrous alloy metal include 1. Carbon steel, 2. Stainless steel, 3. Cast iron, 4. Tool steel etc. Non-ferrous alloys, they are metals and alloy that does not contain iron. Non-ferrous metal includes 1. Aluminum alloys, 2. Nickel alloys, 3. Copper alloys, 4. Titanium alloys, 5. Lead alloys, 6. Tin alloys, 7. Zinc alloys. Polymers. Polymers are materials that consist of molecules formed by long chains of repeating units. They may be natural or synthetic. Many useful engineering materials are polymers such as plastics, rubbers, fibers, adhesives and coatings. Polymers are classified as thermoplastic polymers, thermosetting polymers, thermosets, and elastomer. Ceramics, they are solid compounds that may consist of metallic or non-metallic elements. The primary classifications of ceramics include glass, cements, clay products, refractories and abrasives. Ceramics generally have excellent corrosion and wear resistance, high melting temperature, high stiffness, low electrical and thermal conductivity. Ceramics are also very brittle materials. Composites is a material in which one or mutually insoluble materials are mixed or bonded together. The primary classes of composites are 1. Particulate composites 2. Fibrous composites 3. Laminated composites Electronic materials, they are materials used in electrical industries, electronic and microelectronics, and substances for building up of integrated circuit, circuit boards, packaging materials, communication cables, optical fibers, display and monitoring devices. Biomaterials, these are substance that has been engineered to interact with biological systems for a medical purpose, either as therapeutic, treat, augment, repair or replace a tissue function of the body, or a diagnostic one. 
Examples are man-made protein, artificial bacterium, biosenses, etc. Advanced, smart materials, they are also called intelligent or responsive materials. They are designed materials that have one or more properties that can be significantly changed in a controlled fashion by external stimuli, such as stress, moisture, electric or magnetic field, light, temperature, pH or chemical compounds. Examples of smart materials include materials in computer, VCR, CD player, etc., fiber optic system, shape memory, piezoelectric, temperature responsive polymer, nanomaterials, electrological, magnetological fluids, microelectromechanicals, MEMS, devices, etc.